Good day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use a multi-res sculpting modifier to add detail to the surface of an object. To get started, we're going to open up a new scene in Blender. I'm going to go to where it says Blender Render and I'm going to change that from Blender Render to Cycles Render, like we always do. And this time I'm just going to use my default cube and I'm not going to delete it. And I'm going to go and add um, a multi-resolution uh, sorry, a subdivision surface, and I'm going to make that a subdivision of three, like so, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now, the reason I did that to get a sphere instead of adding a sphere is because the sphere makes triangles um, on the ends, and for this, because we're going to be using making a map, triangles tend to make these funny artifacts once you subdivide the mesh, and to prevent that, we always want to make sure that we're working with quads which means four sides. All, all of these faces need to be four sides. We don't want any triangles, and that's why I am um, subdivided it. Now, if you want this nice and round, what you can do is you can select it in edit mode, press um, spacebar, and we can go to make, um, I think it is two sphere. And what that'll do is if you pull that, it'll make this a perfect sphere. And we're gonna enable smooth shading on that. Now, the, what, what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this tutorial is something very interesting. It's where we use a multi-res modifier to sculpt, and instead of it being really high resolution, this object, we can still add detail because we're going to bake a map off of the multi-res um, sculpt. So to do that, we're going to go with our object selected. We're going to go to our um, modifiers panel. And this time, we're going to add a multi-resolution a modifier and we're going to go to where it says subdivide and I'm going to make that a subdivision of four. Now um, depending on what computer you're using and how powerful it is you might want to be careful here because as you can see this is extremely dense and um, if you're working on something like a laptop you might want to keep it at two or three but um, for me I can take it up to five four or five with my computer that I have so I'm going to take it up to five and now I'm going to go ahead and before we go any further, actually, I'm going to quickly go into edit mode and I'm going to go to my top view mode and I'm going to select this loop and this loop and then deselect this middle one here. Deselect this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we have something that looks like that. And I'm going to press Control E and I'm going to go ahead and mark scene. And now when we go to our UV editing, I'm just going to select the object and go UV, unwrap, and over here in the window, I'm going to size it in a little bit. And now we have our sphere nicely unwrapped. And I'm also going to head, go ahead while we're at it quickly and add a texture. So I'm going to go new. I'm going to call this one normal map. Since we're making a normal map. And the color, it's not really important. You don't have to do this, but I just do it because I like to. I'm just going to make this that kind of color, like purplish blue. And I'm going to go ahead, OK. And now what's very important when um, using maps is that you have to make sure, especially in Blender, and I don't know why Blender does this, it won't actually display any of the, the maps if you're not saving them out somewhere. So I'm gonna go image, save as image, and I'm gonna save this image to my desktop. Um, you can go ahead and save it wherever you want to on your device, just make sure you remember where that is. Now that I have my image saved out, I'm gonna go to my compositing over here, tap back into object mode here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a material. Go to my nodes here. And I'm gonna go ahead, shift A, and we're gonna add an image texture, which is this one right here. And now we're gonna go and find our normal map. And this, we don't have to plug it in anywhere at first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this one is orange, it's selected, which is called active in Blender. We wanna make sure this is active. And over here, we're just gonna go and view our normal map so we can see what's happening. And with our object selected and this active, we're gonna go ahead to our render settings and we're gonna to go to where it says bake. And before we go on here baking it, this next step is to sculpt something on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go sculpt mode. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab um, um, this tool here. I'm gonna turn off my symmetry lock um, yeah just this one and give it a strength of about 0.724 and this is just for demonstration purposes so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of squiggles on here 
Um, like I said, the, the purpose of this tutorial isn't to make a final scene or anything. It's just to teach you um, how to use the multi-res um, modifier so you can add it to your workflow, which I think will be a great help to many artists. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, make some patterns here. Something fancy like this. Well, it's kind of fancy. Just maybe one here, like so. And I'm just using my mouse. I'm not going to get the um, Wacom tablet out. Just like that. And one here like that. That's cool. So I'm going to go tab out of here. And um, by the way, I, when I did that, I just um, shift space just to go into that window. You don't have to do that just to give me more space. So now with this selected, this active, and our map saved out, we're gonna go ahead and change this from combined to normal. And that's in our render settings. And over here where it says margin, we're gonna make that 30. And I'm also gonna go ahead and, yeah, that's about it. I think that's all we have to do. And this is now ready to bake. So we're gonna go ahead and bake. And this is the fun part. So you can see here, it's baking. And then there we go. We have our final bake. So what we have to do now is make sure you save it because this isn't gonna work if you don't save it. So you gotta go file, save image, not save as, because we already saved it as, just save, so it saves it. And now we can go with our object selected, go back to our modifiers panel, and we can delete the multi-res uh, modifier because we don't need it anymore. We have our map now, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take, just set up a quick material here. So I'm going to go shader, mix, shader, glossy, and I'm just going to get a Fresnel, or Fresnel, however you want to say it. Um, and I'm going to put it, make it this kind of color, preview it, like so. And now we're going to make, um, maybe I should set up a sun lamp as well. So quickly grab that lamp. Make it a sun lamp, go into my camera view, kind of zoom in a little bit so you can get a nice look. Okay, setting something up here. Um, yeah, you guys know how to set up a studio by now, so it'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and search, and we're going to add a normal map. And we're going to take the color from the image, and we're going to plug it into the color, and we're going to take the normals and plug it into normal and diffuse, and a normal. On the glossy now what you're gonna see here is the are these really ugly lines here and I was doing this tutorial over and over and I didn't know why it was doing that and then I remembered I have to change this from color to non color data otherwise you're gonna get that really weird line effect so if you're getting that make sure you go here where it says color and you make sure that's non color data it's very important otherwise it's gonna look terrible um, and that is it so now essentially we have a really low poly object right it's very low poly we have incredible amount of detail because we've used the multi-res sculpting now um, you can use this for all sorts of applications um, if you if you want detail in certain things but you don't want it to be very high poly you can use this technique you just do the exact same thing you um, UV unwrap it you sculpt it with the multi-res sculpt you set up a texture like I showed you and you you sculpt and then you bake it out and then you just use the normal map that you've saved out now and you use it in your material and you have this really nice bump mapping effect. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please like and subscribe and there'll be plenty more to come and thank you for watching.